Hi, welcome to another video of Property Expert Academy and my name is Sumit. So today we are going to cover the questions that people have asked. Uh, last week we posted a video asking people if you have any property related questions then feel free to ask me and we'll be covering in the following week. So in today's video uh, we are going to cover all those questions that we have been asked by a uh, few people. So let's let's begin. So I've got basically here my phone where I'm reading all these comments from the last uh, video. Just in case if you're first time on this channel then please do hit subscribe button and uh, like this video and then if you have any questions that you want me to cover next time please uh, mention that in the comment section below. So the way we'll run is like every week you can ask your questions in the latest video that we will publish on the weekend and then we can cover the same question on the next week. Yeah, so let's begin. So we got a first question here. Uh, thank you for your content. I'm looking to buy my first buy to let property and I uh, think it's best to set up a company to do so. I will be borrowing money from my from my investor and sharing profits. Will I be taxed on the investment money? And if so, is there a smarter way to do this? Yeah, very good question. Uh, yes, so I mean, there are many setups that investors usually do. Company Setting up a company is one of the best one, especially when you have borrowing fund. I mean, of course, there are some other videos that I've done on why one should set up a company or other structure that they should use to invest in property. And until what, like, let's say, for example, if you tax, you are not into the tax bracket where maybe the, you know, Section 24 of Financial Act does not apply or uh, there are many other things that you can, of course, check in my previous video. But today in this question, I think the question is very much straightforward. They're asking for buy to let property where the person is also looking to borrow money from an investor. So yes, I mean, of course, I would suggest, yes, the company setup is the one of the best option as well, because that will give you a lot of flexibility. You can easily get the investor fund in the company. You can easily adjust anything that you need. You can easily, you know, exit and bring another new investor. So company setup is one of them. Also it depends how big your portfolio is. Sometimes you may be able to get even some other you know the method of like getting a trust or partnership firm i would suggest for that you speak to your accountant and then get so through the company of course yes it's the best way you can give them shares or debentures or get as the money uh, as a borrowing and uh, also um, the second question was will i be taxed on the investment money um i mean you'll be only taxed on the profit that you make so investment money you will of course return back in addition to that you will be paying them some profit or if you have agreed with them just to pay a pure interest. So you basically take that uh, interest part out and whatever after that left as a profit, that will be only uh, attracting a tax. So just look after, you know, whatever. And then of course there are many other way how you can still make it more tax efficient to cover the profit that you'll make from the deal. So I hope that has answered your question. Um, and if you have more question or a following question from there, please feel free to put that into the comment section below and I'll be happy to cover them in next week. So the next question I have is I'm a new to property. I like to know how to get started in property. Thanks. I've subscribed to your channel. Thank you so much that you subscribe to our channel. Of course, you know, we are, we are here is not just the channel it's our family and we want to help as much as we can. So of course, you know, while we are giving our time and we want to help you out, I will also be much more motivated if you can also you know I'll show a fair exchange where you like our video share our video subscribe to our videos then it really makes us little encouraged motivated and you know I hope you got my point so I would say you know like I've interviewed many property investors and uh, when I condense all of those you know the reply the two thing is Whenever you start in a property journey or whenever those people have started, they have also come up with this answer that you should always start by investing in your education first. I mean, that's why I've written all of these books. You know, you see this, the ultimate guide to property investment, a guide to commercial property conversion, the money. I mean, you can find all of these books on Amazon and some of them we have on our website uh, that we just, you know, give out to our own uh, students. So education is one of the best thing, you know, like. Whatever you do, whether it's a business or anything else in your life, uh, you got to learn things, right? If you start doing something without learning it, there are more chances that you will be, you know, making mistakes. So the best way and uh, the smart way is to invest in 
property before you invest in property you educate yourself make yourself you know resourceful and have that knowledge so that rather i mean rather than you make mistake and then learn from it you can simply leverage with other people's knowledge and the mistakes that they've made and then you can safeguard yourself not to make those mistakes and improve the things that are going well in their life to just do those things so that will increase i mean that will save your time and also speed up your journey second thing is you know the networking is very important this is many people have also i mean if you ask many people they will say if you you know like they say that you become who you spend your time with whoever you spend your time with that's what you become or like you are an average product of the five people you mostly hang around with so hang around with the like minded people who are in the property business and that will also help you to learn a lot of things and also keep you into that track where you can easily get the things that you are looking for in property so my answer for that just coming back is invest in your education and second thing is get networking i mean we do, uh, we do run property investor meet up last saturday of every month and currently we are offering free tickets as well so people can take benefit and we can help them in this difficult time so uh, i'll leave this link as well under this video or you can find it on our website so just join that uh, you know free property investor meet up and we do this virtually so you don't really have to travel anywhere so simply just you know join one of those thing and also if you like to learn more how you can uh, you know learn very skills let's say if you want to really master something such as commercial property conversion or any specific property investment st strategies we have a various training programs around each of those trainings and also master training program where we cover most of this training and also we have a 12 weeks of uh, property investment hand holding result oriented training program so reach out to us and then see which program works better for you or whichever you have in your mind but do invest in education that's my mean uh, you know message here also spend time with like minded people so join as many property investors meetups you can join uh, our one is virtually these days available on last saturday of every month we have many times so many times we have a different different speakers and they are awesome in their field like whether it's mortgage updates or the whatever they're doing in the property field there you can learn a lot of things from them uh, so that's, i hope that has answered your question now one more question it says how do you determine it then sorry i didn't understand how do you determine it then what does it mean like determine what so i mean i'll i like to i mean make a note of few things look i have a staff so it's not just me always doing this sometimes my staff do leave a comment on various other platform saying ask your question on to our channel under our video so if you just ask me something like how do you determine it then determine what the rate of return determine financials or what or determine a value of a property of course i'm a valuer as well so if you can be more specific and write your question uh, then it will be really helpful for me to answer anything uh, so just make a note that you know many time if you get a message from our channel elsewhere on some you know social media platform or under some other videos uh, you know that you know that could have come from our staff and then staff is not really familiar with your question so they are not the one who will be posting under our thing put your full question so that we can answer address it well so please uh, write down your question once again we will be able to cover that next time in the next week uh, i hope uh, that will be then that's it so yeah so that is for the today i mean so just to summarize this like we've decided to help people in this difficult time to help answer their question and also save more time as well because i have multiple roles and this is the way that i can really reach out to one to many many time people ask the same questions and if you ask the questions here under my video i can answer that video and save my time so rather than answering same question to my 100 clients i'll rather question answer here and then forward them the link so i can simply you know redirect them to my channel and then they can see the questions answer here now so what you do is like whenever you have any question you pick up the latest video in that episode or in that chain and you put your questions under the comment section do like and subscribe to our channel share it with your friends family relative or your loved one whoever has any property related questions they can ask the questions here 
and I'll be more than happy to answer that in the next video. In case if there are something that I'm, uh, you know, I cannot answer straight in the short session, at least I can direct you to the right uh, place where you can find the answer or how you can really resolve that issue. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, invest in education, invest like a pro. I'll see you next time. And those who are celebrating Diwali today, happy Diwali to all of you.